everybody, I'm so excited that you're here. Today's big idea is Jesus trusted God. And just like him, we can trust God also. So let's get into the service. Whew. Whew. And scene. Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Okay, let me try this one. <clears throat> uh, Hosanna! Hosanna! Uh, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I don't know. I know what to do. <clears throat> Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> I like hey, that Michael. One. Oh, hey, Pastor Ken. How's it going? I'm good. I'm just uh, I'm practicing for the Shoreline Kids Palm Sunday skit, and I think I got my line down. Well, that's really exciting. It sounds like you got it under control. Um, yeah, but I mean, I know the words, but... I don't know if I understand the, the motivation. Okay, I think I can help you with that. Okay, well, uh, what do you think it means? Well, you take these palm branches. These were reserved for the entrance of a mighty warrior or a king. And so the people were really anticipating that Jesus was coming to town as a king. And so they would wave these palm branches and they would shout, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And they would actually throw the palm branches down on the ground so that when Jesus was coming into town, his donkey wouldn't even walk on the dirt, that he would be honored and he would be revered. Did you just say donkey? I did. Jesus rode in on a donkey. But, but isn't Jesus like a king? Shouldn't a king come in in like a suit of armor, riding a white stallion with a sword and a shield and a crown? Yes, Michael, that would be what would be expected for an earthly king. The earthly king would have entered with majesty and, and royalty, and he would have entered with pride and power. But yeah. Jesus was coming in a whole different place. Jesus was coming as a different kind of king than what they expected. In fact, Jesus said that you guys don't even understand. If you read the account, Jesus said you don't even know what will bring you peace. And in fact, Jesus said your eyes can't even behold what is going to happen. And so Jesus, his purpose was totally different. His, his, his mission was different than what people expected from a king. Yeah, I, I bet they thought that Jesus was gonna come and uh, fight the Romans off and make sure that they were all safe. But if Jesus was a king just for that, he wouldn't be the king of kings and he wouldn't be the king of our hearts. That's exactly right. Jesus knew in his heart what was going to happen. And the Bible says he even cried. While these people were celebrating and they were bringing him into town with this expectation, Jesus knew that he was coming not to save them from their circumstances or their situations, but he was coming to save them in their souls. He was coming to help them get access to God. Wow. I, I think I get it now. Well, thanks, Pastor Ken. I, I know what I need to do. I'm going to say it in Spanish. Well, that might help. But I'm so glad that we have this opportunity to share with all of our kids and families what the real meaning of Palm Sunday is and what happened when Jesus came to town. Yeah, well, thank you guys for being here with us. We have more stuff for you online, so check us out, and we'll see you next time on Charlotte Kids TV. Bye. <laughs>